welcome back. Well, I'm here with the iCamera 2 from SMRC. Uh, it looks like a Bugs 4 Mini uh, clone of some sort. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to take this for a quick flight test around this uh, area here. As you can see, I've got to be pretty quick because I think it's going to rain soon. It did rain this morning, but the sun's out for a short period, I think. So uh, I'm going to... Uh, give this a quick flight review guys and we'll see exactly how it uh, performs now this works off the VS uh, GPS Pro app which is an app that I used on a previous drone recently so I didn't have to uh, download it again to my iPhone here I'm using the iPhone 6 today you can also get it on Android okay guys so I've got the screen recording going now we've got 10 GPS satellites now what I've got to do first is uh, take it out of beginner mode okay you got the settings here for flight distance 300 meters flight altitude I might bring that up to 50 I don't really want to fly too high around here so we'll save them okay then what you do you can go back in here and you can do a gyroscope go back down actually what's this one here this is a surrounding radius I'll leave that at 10 uh, you can do a horizontal calibration, okay, level calibration like that, and then you can also do the uh, geomagnetic calibration, but I'll do it from here on the controller. So you grab it, you do a few spins like this, you should hear a beep. See that? There was a beep, and then up, and do a couple more rotations. Two beeps. So we're ready to go guys, okay, and uh, we'll take it up for a flight. Now we've got a confirmation beep there, and um, looks like we're ready to go. It says 11 satellites on the, on the uh, controller here, GPS mode on, so start the camera, put up in the air. And we see it's got pretty decent GPS lock at the moment. Oh, we've got a little bit of toilet bowl here. Let me just check. Yeah, it's getting angry. So we've got GPS up to 14 now. Let's take it for a flight. Let's check what speed I'm in. This one, okay. We go up for a flight here. Now, just like a recent uh, drone that I reviewed, this uh, app is not too good, guys. It's, uh, it's come back now at 50 meters. Now, this drone is supposed to have a range of about 500. But unfortunately, the app is not that great on this one, guys. It does seem to fly pretty decent, though, so far. So uh, this is Wi-Fi based only. Looks like we're getting some interference here of some sort. I mean, it did just calibrate it and it is toilet bowling. It's not another one of these ones, is it? I am in a different location from my last review video of another drone, the JJRC one. Okay, let's see if it will settle down. Oh, that's unfortunate. Look at that. No, that's not good. All right, let's land it. Okay, beeping a couple of times here. So I've got nothing metal on me. I've got no keys on me or anything like that. Oh, let's do a calibration in the actual app. Let's compass calibrate it through the app. I did it with the controller. I'll go clockwise, this, uh, the anti-clockwise. Okay. 
as you can see this one's got optical flow on the bottom double beep all right let's try again got 14 satellites so sh there shouldn't really be an exclusive satellite lock or anything like that turn that recording off let's try it again now the app the app doesn't tell me on the top so when it's got geomagnetic interference it tells you on the top see where it says flighting which is a misspelled uh, typo there this seems to be acting all right now all right so while i'm here let's click the box here above that radar looking icon and let's try some of the features here while i've got some good battery life let's try gps follow i'll click record let's see if it will follow me It seems to be behaving itself now. It does tell you in the user manual to do clockwise spins, which I did at the start of this flight, as you can see. Now I've done anti-clockwise spins this time around. Okay, so it does follow. It does follow. Now you can change the angle left going left on this scroll wheel brings the uh, camera down going right brings it up all right so let's get out of that follow mode i've got to press the x here that got out of that now what i'll do i'll bring it up a bit there and we'll try this surround mode i'll go back into this box and try surrounding mode going to go back to that 10 meter radius that's set in the settings okay is it going to do it yes it is oh no not another one of these yeah i don't know guys i think i think it's got something to do with this app possibly because this app even with the other drone the x16 i it done the exact same thing so it's leading me to believe, I mean, this, is, uh, this ain't a JJRC product. It's leading me to believe that maybe this app's got some bad bugs to it because, you know, I've had, you know, remember the uh, W L Toys XK Mini Phantom? Now that one, a lot of reviewers are having problems when you go into follow mode, it'll just dart off. It'll go in the top opposite direction. So that's, yeah, that's, I don't know, guys. Um, this is the same app as the JJRC X16 that I just reviewed, and I called it garbage. Remember that? That was only the last week. Okay, so I'm going to turn that recording off. Let's uh, go through this again. So I'm going to try a... Okay, can't do it with the uh, controller there. So I'm going to try a horizontal calibration after that crash, okay, and then we'll try a another geomagnetic calibration. Very unfortunate that this is happening. Bring it up again. Let's try that surround me again. Give it another go. Want to get up higher. Okay. Yeah, nah. Something, something going on. Look at that. I've flown many drones around here, guys. I'm in a different location. And I never have issues around this field. Okay, let's try. I'm going to try this surround mode again. I'm going to take it up, but all right. Let's point the camera down at me. 
I'm here, okay. I'm gonna start recording so we get this on my phone at least, because this is Wi-Fi based. There's no SD card. So let's try surround mode again. See what it does. <laughs> okay, so that's the surround me mode, is it? Yeah, okay, great. Toilet bowl mode. That's all that is. Okay, skip that. Alright, let's take some photos, shall we? Let's take some photos. Bring that camera up. It's holding good GPS lock now, look at that. Get a bit of a shot of it. So I've got a thumbnail. On this rather gloomy day here in Perth. Let me face it that way. Very lightweight drone this one. I think it's 219 grams, so you don't need to register it. Okay. Let's have a look here. So let's take some photos. Just fly it around a bit first. Second rate. It's rather quick. All right, so get out of that recording. I'm gonna take it up a bit and take some photos. Take it up a bit higher. Now it's all dependent on your photos as well. It's all dependent on your Wi-Fi strength here via this app. And to be honest with you guys, I don't like this app. I think this app has got issues, to be honest with you. Because how come I'm having very similar issues with this particular drone as well in certain modes, like the surround me mode, like I did with that one last week, the X16, which I I basically said is totally garbage, which it is. This has optical flow as well. Okay, which is, uh, you can't do it while you're flying actually. So if I press that button there, in the instruction menu, it says you can't go into opt optical flow mode once you're flying, so you have to do it before you take off. See now it's behaving itself. Okay, let's take a photo. Okay. Alright. Let's take a video. I'll just do like a drony shot or something like that. It's all dependent on your Wi-Fi, guys. So I'm out there. Take it backwards a bit more. Okay, so do a GPS home return. We're at 157 meters from the home point. So I'm gonna do a GPS home return. And there's a home point there. Let's see. Okay, it's raising up. I oh, know, it's flying back, not raising up. coming back in a nice straight line there. I think the flight times on this, they're saying it's around 20 minutes on the specs. Slow the camera, there's the landing pad. 
So it's just gonna miss it. Okay. It's about two meters off. You know, one, two, yeah, it's about two meters off. Okay, bring that camera up. So you just hold it down. Am I doing it the right way? Let me see. <laughs> All right, yeah, so you hold it down, the scroll wheel, and you see it go up in increments. Or you could just do it increment at a time. Just like that, all right. So it says here, we have about half a battery left. 16 satellites. So... Guess I'll just go cruising around. Let's see the Wi-Fi range, that's what we'll do. Let's see the Wi-Fi range. Let's see what it tells me on the FPV here. Go over that way, over the college. Get pretty clear. Okay, we're getting 72 meters so far. Seventy nine meters it it stopped working. All right. Let's fly this around. It's rather quick. Look at is I don't know if you can see that in the clouds, guys, but it's rather quick. Okay, I think it's doing its own GPS return here. Aircraft low for yeah, power, fly carefully. Yeah, this is another one like the JJRC, I think, guys. Look at this. Same behavior. That's crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. Look at it. That's rubbish. And we've got 19 satellites now. We were at 16 a moment ago. Look at it. Look at it, man. You're going to go in that tree, are you? try to take control of this darn thing yeah go grab it raven you'll be doing me a favor <laughs> but i'm not even controlling it you guys it's just uh these ravens are going for it i don't want them to get hurt We've got midges all over me here. Man, they're everywhere. I'm trying to bring it down, guys. I am. It's just... Keep it clear of these trees. Just let it play. I don't want it to go into a tree. Can I take control of it now, or what? I'm about to hit emergency stop if this thing doesn't want to come down. Another one I don't recommend, guys, all right? Yeah, it's got, look, it's got the low battery <coughs> indicator on the... Low battery indicator on the LED. Okay guys, well Oh shut up. Alright, there you go. That's how you land it. Alright guys, yeah well give this one a skip, alright. Um another rubbish drone. Okay, it's cheap, you know. It's uh I don't know the price. Can't remember, but it's rather rather cheap. You know, I had high hopes for this one. I had higher hopes for this one anyway than uh, that last one that I reviewed. But it seems like there's some issue with this uh, particular one as well. I'm in a different location. I've come here all the time, 
with GPS drones, then they fly perfectly here. So definitely not the location. Okay, I can rule that out. There is something peculiar about this app though. Um, there is something peculiar about this app, especially with the surrounding modes. This one behaved the same. And this is a different branded product. This is from SMRC. It's not from JJRC, so, you know, what can I say? I think this app is garbage, to be honest with you. It's got something to do with some of the issues, I think. Like I mentioned, that WL Toys XKX1, the mini Phantom that re was released last year, you, you can watch anyone's video. When they hit the uh, follow me uh, feature on that one, that thing would just bolt off in the wrong direction and actually fly away from you. And that wasn't only the case with myself when I reviewed that one. Um, a few of the large channels, RC channels, also had that issue. So as, as, uh, as I experienced here with the surrounding mode, it's uh, definitely some issue here within the app. Um, I could try this one out on Android maybe, but I don't think it's going to make any difference. All right, guys. So, yeah, unfortunately, the iCamera 2. Yeah, I can't really recommend this one either, guys. Save your money. Buy something with an SD card, okay? Uh, this one's just got optical flow on the bottom, and the Wi-Fi range is garbage on this particular app as well. As you can see, I only got around 79 meters uh, up to the when I flew from here basically up to the college there, which ain't that far away Okay, guys, so GPS satellites are fluctuating. It's down to 17 now So all right guys, thanks very much for watching once again Hope you enjoyed this uh, review of the iCamera 2. Like I said, I had pretty high hopes for it I thought it might be a decent performer um, It's meant to have 4k photos we'll soon see you'll you'll see it during the review guys i'm yet to see it obviously because i'm filming uh in post-production i'll see how the photos are i'll even put some of the specs of the properties uh, off the computer what the photo pixelation is uh, it's interpolated guys you know so can't expect too much but it's meant to take 4k photos and actually stream 4k video so we'll soon see what the video was like as well i did record a few uh, videos as I was flying, okay? All right, guys, I'm done. I'm heading home. It's starting to fine up now, which is a good thing, but they do. Ex we do expect some storms tonight, I think. So I'm gonna head home, have a look at this footage, and uh, put up on YouTube for you guys to see. So uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you're alerted for all the videos uh, once I upload them on the channel. Have a great day. Happy flying and uh, enjoy the hobby. Thanks very much, guys. Bye for now.